Hey guys, we're coming at you today with a really, really fun video. It's of these uh, little North American arms. This one's chambered in 22 long rifle. This is gonna be the one that we're shooting today. Um, so we've done some videos on some full-size pistols. We've done some videos on some compact pistols, subcompact pistols, micro compact pistols. Um, this is like ultra deep concealment. Um, kind of a, a novelty, uh, kind of almost like uh, men's jewelry. It's fantastic. Uh, I've shot this pistol some, but it's absolutely tiny. Uh, here, I've got it. So, this is it next to a regular $10 bill. This thing is ultra tiny, and I know what you guys are thinking. Sure, it's super tiny, but can you hit anything with it? Um, we're gonna give it a go. I've got a man-sized silhouette target set up. I'm gonna load five. We're gonna go down here and uh, see if we can get some shots on target. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how this pistol actually breaks down. So you've got uh, like a little quarter cock there. You depress this little pin, hold onto the cylinder, pull out, and the cylinder falls out. And that's how you load it, right? So we're gonna be shooting this time with some Federal 22 long rifle, 36 grain, uh, copper plated hollow points. Okay, so we're set up here at seven yards with the North American Arms 22 long rifle. Haven't warmed up, haven't shot it today. Kind of wanted to simulate real life situation. You don't get warm up shots, you don't get anything like that. So at seven yards, I'm gonna pull up, shoot all five shots. We're gonna see how we do with this thing. Okay, five shots, here we go. five pretty quick I'm gonna walk you guys up here and we'll see how we did so shooting five shots we had a pretty decent little group going on here um, but we do have even shooting fast all five shots on target I'm gonna load up five more and try to aim just for his head at seven yards and we'll see how we do still at seven yards same cardboard silhouette I'm gonna slow down a little bit this time and try to put five shots all on his head. Here we go. real time we're gonna walk up there I put a little red like thumbtack up there on the target to give me kind of a, a point of reference point of aim I think on the second or third shot I actually hit that thumbtack at seven yards so it made a little bit bigger hole in the cardboard than a regular 22 size shell would but let's go up here this is where the thumbtack was and I had a couple of shots really really close to it I can see one here. I think I maybe had two here, and I had two real close to this. So, I mean, we're talking, if you're looking at it, that is carbon from uh, how short the barrel is. But, I mean, that's less than a two inch group at seven yards on his head. Shooting slow, but it's effective. Okay, so now we know that we can actually hit something or someone with it. But it does raise the question, 22 long rifle out of a one and one eighth inch barrel. Is it building up enough speed to actually open the hollow point? And if it does hit something, is it gonna do any damage? Well, I've got some milk jugs here. Let's uh, shoot one into a milk jug and see what it does. 
Okay, so we've got this milk jug with just a uh, blue food coloring in it for special effects set up at seven yards. I'm still shooting the Federal 36 grain hollow point. Um, we're gonna shoot this jug and see what kind of expansion, see what kind of penetration we can get. Here we go. It is leaking pretty quick. Let's see what we've got. Ah, uh, kind of makes me want to pee. Anyway, we have our entry here. It was a good solid hit. And it blew right through the back. I mean, split the jug wide open. So that little 22 caliber, 36 grain hollow point, going 1260 out of a rifle length barrel. So I don't know what kind of speeds we're getting on an inch and an eighth, but it blew through that jug. Actually pretty impressive to be honest. Okay, so we've proven that the little North American arms is accurate. It's deadly and it's super dependable. And this little revolver, um, I've shot this thing a good bit and I've never even had a misfire with this thing. Obviously, with it being a single action type deal, it cycles, cycles, um, phenomenal. I mean, it runs any ammunition you feed it, and it just shoots every single time you pull the trigger. So, would it be my first choice for concealed carry? Probably not. Um, but if you need something kind of ultra deep concealment, had a pair of shorts on or something, it will absolutely beat a sharp stick. So I appreciate you guys watching and we're not done yet. So this is the tiny 22 long rifle, North American arms, right? Shoots just a regular 22 long rifle. Um, but we have something a little bit bigger, still ultra tiny. But this is the North American Arms Pug, chambered in 22 Magnum. And just for you guys that need a kind of visual difference here, it's still shooting a 22 caliber bullet, but just a lot more powder behind it. So this is your regular 22 long rifle. This is your 22 Magnum. A lot more powder, a lot faster. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna test this one too. Uh, we're gonna set up a new uh, cardboard man. We're gonna shoot a couple of shots on cardboard, make sure we're hitting where we should be. And then we're gonna load up and shoot another milk jug with this one and see if there's any difference between the regular 22 long rifle and the 22 Magnum. Let's get her going. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys just a quick size difference here, side by side of what these two tiny little pistols look like so the pug is a good bit bigger but when i mean a good bit bigger i mean it's still so tiny i mean it's well within the palm of my hand um and it's chambered in 22 magnum so let me get one of these out real quick and i'll show you guys kind of a tabletop review this is the 22 and this is the 22 magnum quite a difference we'll see what we got here kind of wanted to show you this just a quick reference between these two pistols um, when you're looking at sights you can see that this one actually has a front sight and nothing in the back let me show you what this looks like so that's your sight you just kind of have a front sight to point this is on the regular 22 and on the North American Arms Pug, the little bit bigger one chambered in 22 Magnum, you have a front sight and you actually have a rear sight on this one. So should be a little bit easier to aim and shoot. So we're gonna see what we got here. All right, we're back at seven yards with the North American Arms Pug. I've got three rounds of the 22 Mag loaded up in it. We're gonna try to go two to the chest and one to the head see what kind of uh, 
accuracy we can get out of this thing. Okay. So that was three shots, two to the chest, one to the head. Let's see how we did. That's your two to the chest and under an inch and one almost drilled dead center through the head. Um, these pistols, believe it or not, at these close distance, these distances are phenomenally accurate. Okay, so we can get both of these pistols to shoot pretty, pretty freaking well at seven yards. Let's load up a 22 Magnum and do the milk jug with this one. See what we got, see if there's any difference. Okay, so we're back at it up here. We've got our milk jug with the blue food coloring put in, put in it. One shot, we're loaded up with a CCI mini mag in the North American Arms Pug. Let's give it a go. Hey, look at that. This shot way, way faster. Let me go ahead and get you guys up here real quick so you can see this. Steady stream out the front and it blew straight through this jug. Um, I actually think the 22 long rifle expanded a little bit better. Um, just the sheer speed of the 22 Magnum blew right through that is absolutely comedy to me right now that is hilarious um great great penetration on this one it shot right through the jug so we'll uh let this leak out a little bit and then do a comparison between the two jugs okay so i'm not gonna lie i would have never imagined that the 22 magnum would have actually done less damage to the jug than just a regular 22 long rifle. But the sheer speed, I think, of the 22 Magnum actually kind of hurt it. Uh, we obviously had way better penetration with the 22 Magnum. It still had a ton of energy as it was coming out. Uh, I've got a couple more jugs and kind of something cool to try. So Winchester made these Varmint high velocity 22 mags so they're a 30 grain traveling at 2250 feet per second now i'm sure that's out of a rifle but they actually have a polymer tip instead of your traditional hollow point kind of show you guys the difference between those real quick um i want to try one of these polymer tip i'm sure that we'll get uh with the increased velocity a little bit better of expansion with this um, than we did with just maybe the regular hollow point, right? So this is your regular hollow point, 22 mag, and this is the polymer tip guy. It's supposed to be going a lot faster, but hopefully we'll get a little bit better of expansion because of the speed. Let's line them up and see what we got. Okay, guys, so I actually only brought two of the big gallon water jugs. Um, never fear, I did bring other stuff, so I'll show you what we got here. Okay, so... I've got three of them lined up here, two big orange juice containers, and then one sports drink container. Uh, Want to see if we can kind of get any sort of pass through with this polymer tip 22 mag. Let's uh, line them up and see what we got. Going hot, here we go. Let's make it rain. All right, so this was our first jug. Hit a little lower than what I wanted to. Um, I think maybe that had something to do with the, the speed of the round, but we had a pretty decent hit here. Good exit wound. Uh, at this point, it started to veer downhill some. So it hit a little bit lower on this one and actually blew out the bottom of the jug. And this is where I had them lined up here. And you can actually see where it grazed, skipped, and went out. 
sports drink bottle made it out safe guys maybe in another video okay guys we're back here to the table i wanted to take you through real quick the hits on the jugs again so this was the cci mini mag 22 magnum we had a good hit here no we got a good hit here i'm sorry entry actually it was a phenomenal hit anyway great hit here this was the one that had that blazing speed so it blew right through the back still wouldn't want to get hit with that this was our first jug with the winchester polymer tip 22 mag had a hit here blew through the back you can see the actual swelling of this isn't supposed to be down like that so a lot of pressure on that one blew through the second jug and out the bottom cracked the bottom of it and the one that surprised me the most today was the regular 22 long rifle where we had a good hit on an actual gallon size jug and this thing had phenomenal expansion and it ripped through the back i wouldn't have expected that but whoop whoop 22 let's go so as always guys gunology the channel appreciates your guys's views and your comments go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and gunology will be seeing you in the next one thanks so much